Hello friends, this is your humble narrator and host, Tony Figueroa. And I thought today I would um, depart from my usual format of showing you work that's completely finished and look at some work in progress that I have on my light box here. Uh, this is a Wrestler Zero drawing that can be either used as a story page or perhaps as a standalone illustration or both. Um, the first version of this particular composition and image that I did is up here. And I did it using uh, Nexus, which is a character created by writer Mike Barron and artist Steve Rude. And I'm certainly glad I did it. However, I do want to promote my own material as well. And I wanted to get Wrestler Zero in there. And so here we are. I did, I did make some changes. Um, I'm giving him a swarm of bats in the background. I plan on adding a lot more bats. So I changed his head to look like a bat head. Um, certainly nothing uh, terribly original there, but I like it. And we're down here to Wrestler Zero. Um, I noticed that one of the changes I've been making in my artwork is really uh, simplifying both the figure work and the amount of rendering that I would do. I just really don't feel the need anymore to prove to whoever that I know where every muscle and uh, tendon is. I just think I want to get the idea of the figure across with as minimal rendering as possible. So hopefully I've succeeded in that. Um, for those of you who may not know, I am the creator and producer of Wrestler Zero. That's issue one on the left there. This is issue number two. I've only published two issues of this mini comic, but I am currently working on new material. Um, just panning down here, I've got an issue of National Geographic that has a pretty nicely, um, a pretty nice story about bats in the Southwest, which is where I live. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, it's chock full of great reference photos. And I am definitely into using uh, reference material. And here in my hand, I have some of the inking implements that I use, uh, some microns, pit pens, and probably my favorite uh, implement as far as inking figures and other things goes, is this Pento uh, brush pen with the refillable ink cartridge. And just an apps, just an outstanding product. I love using it, I use it extensively. But I also do have other things that I use here. Let's just gonna pan across. I've got a wide variety of brushes, uh, colored pencils, china markers, uh, a little bit of stuff for the figure reference. Uh, yes, I do keep a lot of my art supplies in Bustello coffee cans. I also have an Illy coffee can because I am a devoted coffee drinker. And down here I have um, just a lot more art supplies, including a little skull there for study, a brush, various uh, mechanical pen leads. And then here I have my acrylic inks made by FW. A little pricey, kind of hard on the brushes but certainly worth it. Um, I have a lot of watercolor because I do like to use watercolor. I don't really dilute it with water sometimes at all, or may occasionally add a drop or two because I'm working on 11 by 17 Bristol board. So I don't want the paper to buckle. So, but I, I do manage to use the, um, the, uh, the watercolors pretty effectively, I think so far. And I just have more supplies down here, uh, drafting tape, et cetera, et cetera. And here we are. So I just thought I would share this with you, kind of a short video, but I just wanted to share the work in progress. I usually just present finished work. And like many uh, creative types, especially people who work in comics, or you know, fantasy art and things of that nature, I really do enjoy seeing process videos uh, from other artists and stuff like that. And uh, I just thought I would share this with you. And of course, I will share the finished product with you when it's all said and done. So until then, take the best care. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.